The focus of the report was to show public wellhead production data against operator disclosed type curves to help um, answer some of the questions we often get around who's meeting their type curve and also why do some of our internal type curves differ from what's being disclosed in presentations. So this year's a 200 plus page report. It involves 198 individual type curves and uh, we pulled them from investors' presentations that, range, that a date ranges between January 2015 and May 2016. This, uh, the report's pretty broad. It encompassed 58 unique operators in both the United States and Canada. I like to highlight the, the cumulative production versus time graph shown over here on the left. As uh, these ones here, they remove a lot of the noise that, that you see in the, uh, in the daily production charts in the middle. And it um, also helps to accurately highlight early time cash flows. Um, the other one that I like to highlight is over here in the upper right hand corner, it's the decline from peak. So it shows you the uh, monthly decline from the peak month. And this here gives you a sense of what type of uh, decline profile the, uh, the data shows against the curve. And um, so this here helps to highlight the areas that although they might be hitting the front end of the cur curve, the production could decline deeper, meaning that there might be a, um, a bigger disconnect over time. So let's move on to the, the analysis. Uh, this, this is pretty consistent with the last time we did this in 2013, where we found that about 62% of the areas analyzed were we defined as hitting their curve, and about 38% fell short, going into some company-specific ones. Um, as we highlighted in the key points, the operators who consistently hit their curve were 